What's up y'all? Welcome back. I have got my coffee and we have got to talk about this Walmart fish guide. So in my previous video, I did an unboxing and review of the aquaculture five gallon tank kit. And in that kit, they provided me with this lovely fish guide. So I figured, you know, let's start doing the tea time thing, except we're going to do it coffee time because I need coffee. Tea ain't strong enough most of the time. So to start off, they have a list of the different, some of the different types of fish that they sell at Walmart. That's fine, that's fine. And then, you know, what's a cold water fish versus a tropical fish versus their cichlids, cichlid environment, not just cichlids, because I was like, wait a minute, plecos ain't, plecos and pictus cats are not, they're not cichlids. I guess this is their idea of fish that go together. So cichlids can go with these fish and you can do these tropical fish together and you can do these cold water fish together. So that's a no though. That's a no go though. So we'll start with the cold water fish. So of course they have goldfish. That makes sense, that makes sense. And then they have a pleco. Well, not all plecos are the same. I guess it's just the plecos that they sell. So it has listed the temperature range, but it tells you you can't keep any more than two cold water fish in a five gallon tank. But the only cold water fish that they have listed are goldfish and plecos. Well, from the looks of it, this is a common pleco. You know, the one that gets to be like a foot and a half in length. You know, a, a pleco, a pleco that needs to be in like a giant tank. This looks like a common pleco. It doesn't look like, like a bristle nose or something, you know, like a, a smaller, you know, four inch pleco, which you still wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to put any, you don't want to put any plecos in a five gallon tank because they're all going to be too big. Even the smallest pleco still going to be too big. Same goes for the goldfish. You want to put zero goldfish in a five gallon tank. Zero is the number you are looking for, for these types of cold water fish in a five gallon tank, in a 10 gallon tank, in a, you could, you can put one in a 20 gallon, you can put a goldfish in a 20 gallon tank. You could put one, one goldfish in a 20 gallon tank. But if you're talking about a comet, if you're talking about a comet goldfish, then I would say you can put one in a 30. What is my cat doing? My cat is playing with a piece of dirt making a whole lot of racket what are you doing what are you doing why are you being so noisy you know I'm trying to make a video you know I'm trying to make a video you don't care you don't care my floors are so dirty I've been gardening so back on topic back to this amazing guide thank you Walmart for making this amazing useful guide on how to kill fish and there goes my cat again, going crazy. So, tropical community environment. Yeah. A lot of these, please don't mix them. A lot of these fish in here, just don't mix them. Let's go over it. Mollies, sometimes fin nippers. Daniels, peaceful. Never really had a problem with Daniels personally. Guppies, also never really had a problem with personally. They're pretty peaceful. Bala sharks. Uh, that's gonna need a big tank. Tetras, half and half on fin nippers. Some peaceful, some like red miners and stuff. Not very nice. Grommies, mmm, not very peaceful sometimes. Not, not always very peaceful. Sometimes peaceful, but you don't want to put a bunch of grommies together. Barbs, tiger barbs, mm-mm. Mean, mean, mean little fin nippers. Mean, mean little fin nippers. Angelfish, very delicate, but also kind of aggressive. Platties, never had a problem with my platties. They've always been pretty peaceful, although I've heard stories from other people that have occasionally run across the rogue angry platy. Rainbow fish, they get pretty good size. I mean, they're not huge, but most of them get pretty decent size, so if it fits in their mouth, Swordtails, same as they're basically platies. I've never had a problem. Never had a problem myself. 
Silver dollars also never really had a problem with them being aggressive, but they can get bigger than some of the other fish. Dragons, I don't really have a lot of experience with them. Don't really have a lot of experience with them, but they're cool looking, but they're pretty good size. Scissor tails, not really that experienced with them on how, you know, aggressive or not aggressive they are. We did keep them at the store, but we rarely got them in, so I think we only had them maybe like once in a while. Plecos, man, this pleco, this picture of this pleco looks like this poor guy has fin rot. Like, why would you want to use a picture where your pleco looks like they have fin rot? Look at this. I can't hold it still. Look at this pleco. It looks like it has fin rot. Like, this is a picture that they purposefully put on here, and it looks like the fish has fin rot. Whatever. Corys. There's a lot of different quarries out there. I don't know. These, this fish guide is amazing. So then we got, I got cichlids that can, like what can coexist. So we got our African cichlids with plecos and pictus cats, which, you know, I mean, you should be able to keep a pleco with your, with your cichlids. Cause they're just, just cause they're so big. They're so big. Plus, if you have cichlids, you probably have a pretty large tank that you've got them going into. So that's a thing, too. Oscars, Pleco, picked his cat. Yeah, maybe. But then we get back to this tank thing. We get back to this tank thing. It's saying in a 55 gallon that you can have up to 20 cichlids or seven Oscars. If I had a 55 gallon tank, and I've got Oscars. At most, I would put two Oscars in there. At most. And I'd probably be running multiple filters. Or like the mother load of filters. Because Oscars are super, super messy. Which is why I don't keep Oscars. Because they need a really big tank and they're really, really messy. And that's just not my thing. Same thing with turtles. Like if I get turtles, I'm gonna get a pond and I'm gonna keep them in a pond. I'm not gonna keep them in a tank in my house cause I don't want to do that kind of maintenance and I don't want shell rot. Yeah, these, uh, not to mention the temperature, the temperature ranges on these. It's just, no. 55 gallon, ma maximum number of cold water fish 20. Maximum number of cold water fish, they're saying 20. You're gonna put 20 goldfish, one species of which gets to be about a foot, 10 inch, 10 to 12 inches, sometimes bigger. I've seen comets as large as a foot and a half. You're gonna put 20 fish this big in a 55 gallon tank. Are you planning on doing daily water changes for this tank? 20 full-size goldfish are not gonna be able to swim in a 55 gallon tank. Maybe like three or four, maybe. Just like with the, with the Oscars, you wanna put seven Oscars in a 55 gallon tank? I don't wanna do daily water changes. That's crazy. That's why I have a filter. So if you buy any of the tanks from Walmart, any of the aquaculture tanks, and you get this chart, you get one of these charts, please do yourself a favor and just throw it in the garbage because that's where this belongs, is in the garbage. It's not good information. It's misinformation. It's bad. Appreciate the thought, Walmart, but you, this is terrible. This is terrible. Maybe. Maybe you could keep two cold water fish in a five gallon tank, but not if those fish are goldfish and not if those fish are plecos. That's crazy. That is just craziness. Maybe, maybe two white cloud minnows, but they need to be in a school, so. Yeah, Walmart, whoever came up with this didn't do their research, didn't do their homework, and you're letting people down. Walmart, throw this away. Stop putting this in your tanks. Don't put this in your tanks. It's bad information, and you're gonna 
you're basically telling people how to kill fish. This is a be way over stocking tanks, okay? I have a five gallon tank. I have three little like two inch creatures in there. And some would say that's overstocked. And I have a ton of live plants in there. Please. Again, you get one of these in your, with your tank, just throw it in the garbage where it belongs. And Walmart, if anybody, if anybody that works for corporate at Walmart that has any involvement with the aquaculture tanks, this is terrible and this is garbage and you need to get rid of it or fix it. You're better off putting no information out there than terrible, terrible, terrible information. You put two goldfish in a five gallon tank, you're gonna have two dead goldfish in like a year. Maybe two years. If you're really diligent about changing the water because their bodies are gonna be stunted for growth and their organs are gonna keep growing on the inside and they're gonna be completely deformed. They were doing an okay job with the tank. They were doing an okay job with just the tank, but this ruined it for me. It ruined it for me, Walmart. This was not in the tank that I bought last time, but it was this time. So obviously they have changed some of their packaging and maybe some of their products in there since I bought the one behind me. Anyway guys, I'm sorry if this rant got really ridiculously long. Just this really, really kind of irritates me. I get what they're trying to do, but they're actually making things worse. So. Please, 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 when you are looking to buy fish, you're looking to buy a tank, please do research. Do research from actual websites and people that know what they're doing and know about fish and how to properly take care of them and how big they actually get. All those kinds of things. Do your research, do your homework before bringing them home. If whenever possible, try to do your research before bringing these animals home. Anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.